Shy bro, Father James with Father Hank. Hey. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. The Lord be with you. Ooh, ooh, hey, ooh. with your spirit. <laughs> <laughs> Favorite. All right, a lot of Christmas topic here. Hopefully this will be a fun one. Oh, grab bag. Okay, uh, we got favorite gifts, favorite, favorite gifts. Christmas movies, okay. favorite Christmas cookie, Ooh. and favorite Christmas song. Christmas song. Ooh, nice. good, nice. Oh, nice. Pull that one out of your head. Yeah, every once in a while. Yeah. There's a bunny in there. But there was something you were saying, though, quickly about gingerbread. Oh, yeah. Just, so just Tell the story to the people real quick. I was hanging out with the St. Emily School kids on their last day of Christmas partying, and we did uh, gingerbread hangman, uh, kind of just made up on the spot. So I drew on the board a full-fledged gingerbread man with all the toppings and little Hershey Kisses eyeballs and stuff and came up with a phrase that the kids had to guess. If they got a letter wrong, Mr. Gingy, gingerbread man Gingy, would lose one of his maybe gumdrop buttons or <laughs> a bite would be taken out of Not his the arm. Not the gumdrop button. Not the gumdrop buttons, <laughs> you monster. <laughs> so it was a lot of fun, to say the least. <laughs> So, and like, did his head get bit off? We, we didn't go that far. Some okay, of the kids were screaming, and oh, the others were chanting Father for him Hank, to die. <laughs> killing him, Father Hank! He's uh, already dead. <laughs> Gosh, I can't believe you ruined Christmas for the Just for the fourth children. graders. Oh, just, oh, and okay, fifth graders. <laughs> so, Mr. Gingerbread Man got. And you drew like bite marks. I would draw bite marks, yeah. yeah. Like, there goes his arm. Because <laughs> you all know oh. that Father Hank is an artist, so he has those, those abilities. So, Father Hank, uh, favorite, where should we start? Christmas gift? Uh, I actually don't have one for a Christmas gift You're right now, unless you have okay. one. Um, yeah, I don't favorite know. Christmas cookie? Mm, I don't oh, know what my, they're called. Like. My mom makes Kremla. It's a Norwegian cookie that she makes for Christmas. It's What's really it good. Kremla. Kremla. It's really fluffy. It's kind of in the figure eight. Yeah. Fluffy. Norwegian. <laughs> okay, Yummy. so... First of all, shout out to Mary. She dropped off mud bars the other night. Mud bars. You remember Mary's oh. incredible baking skills I and do. cooking skills. Um, what was the one we had in quarantine that was like the caramel? Caramel, oh, <laughs> yeah, caramel, caramel, caramel. butter yeah, bars. Yeah, similar and... similar level of incredibleness. Wow. Um, wow. And thank you to everyone. So many people have dropped dropped off cookies. So thank you for supporting the let's get the priests and the rectory diabetes fund. <laughs> let's get that fund. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I like the, uh, I don't know if it's my favorite, it's tough to choose the, I don't know what they're called, but it's like a pretzel with like a a chocolate, like Hershey Kiss and an M&M, like fused onto the, oh, it's like a I square see. like pretzel. It's almost like the uh, chocolate turtles. Yeah, and you just, you can like Let's throw them down. One. They're yeah. like, in one bite, you can put them down. Sweet Those things salty. are really good. Sweet and salty, yeah, and you make a ton mm. of them. It's almost like a take five bar. Yeah, yeah. right. Nice. Right, a lot going on there. A lot um, going on. Okay, so favorite Christmas movie? Oh, easy one. Uh, Muppets Christmas Carol. Really? Yes. It is the best of both worlds. It is goofy, okay. hilarious. There's oh, songs that are sentimental. Yeah. And then Charles Dickens' rich um, Christmas Carol, which Christmas we talked Carol. about yeah. before. Yeah. yeah. Um, yeah. I've actually never seen that. Oh, oh dude, you're missing is it. Is it good? It, okay. Absolutely. Okay. Uh, it's got. Uh, Michael Caine in it. He's Scrooge. Oh, right? really? Yeah. Like, as a Muppet? Or no, 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 no. As, as Scrooge. Oh, like, full fledged. Okay. From Batman. Um, That's right. Alfred. What's uh, your favorite Christmas movie? Mine would probably be Christmas Vacation. Christmas Vacation. Kind of a more a the, going the comedy route. Yeah. It's awesome. <laughs> um, so many great. New, fix the new post. Um, <laughs> Clark Griswold going crazy with the lights. Yeah. I'll go falling in love with her when we leave here in uh, three months. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this is just a real nice surprise, Clark. Just a real nice surprise. Okay, favorite. What were the other? The blessing. Sorry. <laughs> uh, Christmas gift, Christmas cookie, Christmas movie. Christmas song. Yes, Christmas song. Um, so the... Actually, what we played last time, the Here Comes Santa Claus by Elvis, it's really catchy for me. Um, the Okay, so just like modern twist on one. Um, mm -hmm. The Bruce Springsteen, Santa Claus is Coming to Town. Is oh, sure. Good. Mm -hmm. And um, the Bare Naked Ladies have a, uh. like a, uh, um, what is it? Uh, 
God rest you, merry gentleman that like fuses in with We Three Kings and Sarah McLaughlin actually does the We Three Kings part. So yeah, nice, pretty good. Nice. How about you? Um, I like <laughs> the classic Bing Crosby, Nat White King Christmas, Cole. yeah. Or, just all of the Bing Crosby. All, all Bing. Melikaliki Maka is the <laughs> place <laughs> to say on a white Hawaiian Christmas day. Yeah, uh, favorite Christmas stuff. gift. I'm trying to, I'm thinking, coming around now. Um, I was a big Nintendo 64 guy nice. growing up. So nice. I think getting some of those Nintendo 64 games like Mario Kart have some pretty, pretty fond memories. Um I reached a point where I yeah. was actually happy <clears throat> getting socks and handkerchiefs. That's, yeah, right. I, it's just warm, going to use it every day. Yeah. It's very handy. I tell my parents now, I went through a phase in college, like, now I want clothes. Now I'm like, <laughs> I don't want clothes. Don't get me anything. I'm a minimalist. All I wear is black, pretty much. I'm like, don't, hey, give, me, me don't give me any clothes. So, um, take a football. <laughs> take a football. <laughs> oh, <laughs> <laughs> Great reference. Um, how about uh, just quick synopsis of what your Christmas homily is going to be, or is? That is a great question. What would you want it? What would you uh, want, want people want to, to take about. from away from, on Christmas? That the Christmas spirit is to Jesus loves you. Is Jesus loves you, but wants to get to know you, and mm-hmm. you can get to know Jesus. Um, I don't know. I'm going back and forth with faith. This is your first Christmas homily. Well, as a priest, as a priest, as sorry, a priest. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Yeah, do you give one as a deacon? Here? I did. Yeah, yeah. Talk oh yeah, about the glory right. of. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you were totally not there. <laughs> I think I was serving with Father Roger. It was pretty great. Yeah. How about you? What, what was, was the? Do you remember what the theme was from it? Yeah, uh, embrace God embraces I'm just all of our humanity. I don't know what I'm but... God embraces all of our humanity, so you know, completely redeems it. Everything that is so human and good about uh, the Christmas season is something to see God delighting in as well too. Something like that. I do remember. So I will say my first, I remember my first Christmas homily as a priest. I had talked about how my brother, my older brother, Nick, every year growing up, you'd ask for the same thing. It was a football. He actually, <laughs> yeah, we were big, obviously like football players. He, my brother was obsessed with playing catch, playing football out in the yard. He'd always drag me out regardless of the temperature and uh, he was a quarterback and I had to catch his his throws as for football every year I was like this is so dumb like you have so (laughs) many footballs already it's a football you can get this whenever like you could ask for Super Mario Kart like why would you ask for football right yeah but then I would appreciate it because like all right I'd go and open up and play the Super Nintendo game and like I'd beat it that day and then like I'd never play the game again and it was done and it lasted the thrill lasted for a few hours whereas the football all year long play that football play that afternoon play it in the spring get used in the summertime obviously in training and then and then during the season and then he would hold on to them and he'd use them multiple years and he had a whole bag of footballs so like when he would coach he could use them Anyways, simple gift, but it lasted all year long. Hmm. I think um, that was the message nice. uh, to pray with and love Jesus all year long. That lasts longer than any Christmas gift or cookies. So, anyways, folks, have a Merry Christmas and a, uh, a wonderful holiday season and New Year. New Year, yeah. God bless. Peace.